Good evening everyone, time for another Bitcoin report. This is the four hour chart of the Bitcoin provided by ClarkMoody.com. Now you can see we're at 970. As I pointed out before, the activity of the Bitcoin after this spike top that we had, as it worked off virtually all of the overhead resistance told me that we were going to get new highs. Sure enough, we got the breakout above 900 and uh, we're running towards that four digit number. And my guess is that now that we've broken out, we're probably gonna make that run towards my target of $3,000 on the Bitcoin. Now, if you remember in the last video that I did, I covered the market cap of the cryptocurrencies, and it's absolutely astounding what happened today. But before I get into that, I want to show you the market depth. Now, you can see here the highest price asked for a Bitcoin is, I don't know, a number so large that looks like a trillion dollars. But uh, we've got 18,000 Bitcoins offered total on Mt. Gox. That's the most that are offered. Now you can see that that figure stays steady. goes down to 17,000 at about a price of 8,000. And then we get a big drop off here. Uh, you can see someone is offering 1,966 Bitcoins for $3,300 a piece and then we get that drop off to 15,000. Now, just think about the people kicking themselves. You could have got uh, 1966 Bitcoins for $19 when uh, they were a penny apiece. So you can see we drop down to, let's look at the figure 10,000 because that's going to be uh, one we want to compare on the bid. So we get to that 10,000 offered figure at the price of 1225 now if you look over here on the bid we've got that 10,000 figure hovering around 800 or so and of course legitimate bids all just say those are all that are above a hundred even though the ones below that are good too but we don't want to count the penny bids but uh, bids at 100 are at 89,000 bitcoins being bid for. And uh, that's going to be more than fivefold, or roughly fivefold. So we're still at about the percentage, but uh, it appears that bitcoins are becoming scarce. Now, that's another thing that you can see here on the volume. You want to keep in mind this volume chart. Uh, you have to get more granular to get the exact details, but you can see the large red spikes on the last sell-off, especially the largest one of that spike top. We had another one and about four in a row here, high volume selling candlesticks. But what we see after that is a rally based on lower volume. We did have the buying here of a large number at around 825 or so. But the volume that took us above 900, that took us above the old highs, you can see right here, it's not a lot of volume. We're talking about only about 8,000 Bitcoins took us over that. So the Bitcoins are becoming scarce and there's a lot of money flowing in. Now I wanna show you how it's money flowing in. If you remember last time I covered the market cap. Now you remember the market cap on the Bitcoin was nine and a half billion. You can see we're at 11 billion now for the market cap of the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin has added $1.5 billion in market cap. Even more astounding than that is the Litecoin. When I covered Litecoin last video, it was a quarter of a billion dollars it's now nearly a half a billion dollars now let me take you to a chart that I posted on the 25th this is a chart 
of a flag formation in the Litecoin and I titled this Litecoin prepares for breakout and you can see here that the Litecoin had a high of 9.999 and it was building up to that and let's click on this to go to the current chart you can see the Litecoin is above $19 a coin so Litecoin has nearly doubled its market cap and price in a matter of days now the reason why this is so astounding is because most of these cryptocurrencies besides the two primary ones those being Bitcoin and Litecoin the majority of these other currencies are not available for purchase using currency of the sovereigns so it's very difficult to buy name coin and prime coin and nova coin and feather coin using dollars or rubles or or Chinese yuan most of the purchases come via Bitcoin so what is so astounding here is that Bitcoin has added 14-15% to its market cap well Litecoin has added 62% to its market cap Purecoin has added almost 50% Namecoin has almost added 100% these are in the last 24 hours Primecoin is 70% 50% and 50% for Novacoin and Feathercoin and you can see it goes on and on and on Worldcoin is a loser there but you can see Frycoin up 156% in price, Infinite Coin up 182%, Quark Coin 244%. So, what does this mean? Look at that 575% increase in the last 24 hours for Craft Coin coming in a market cap of $197,000. There's only one thing that this can mean, and that is that money is flowing out of the sovereigns the dollars the euros the yens the yuans the rubles of the world and it's flowing into cryptocurrencies this is a mad rush for cryptocurrencies so one would think that Bitcoin would go down if people are buying all these other cryptocurrencies but the strength of Bitcoin is so high that even though people are using Bitcoin to buy these others the added uh, number of people coming into Bitcoin is more than making up for the difference now if you remember we had the hearings in the Senate and they were pretty much a total bust for the most part it was an admission that they don't have any legal authority over cryptocurrency they have legal authority over currency which is controlled by the sovereigns that's where the money laundering laws come in that's where the know that know your customer limitation laws come in that's where all the banking regulations come in they have to do with the sovereign currencies they don't have anything to do with the cryptocurrency so there's a one-way street right now money is in a mad rush to get into these cryptocurrencies now let's go over to the BTC E exchange I want to show you now I covered earlier the fact that there seems to be a large discrepancy you can still see that here with the price of Bitcoin in US dollars at eight hundred and seventy nine dollars a Bitcoin on BTC E but you've also got the Bitcoin quoted in the Russian ruble I believe someone corrected me that this is a Bulgarian exchange you've also got the Bitcoin in the euro and then you've got some of these others so you've got Litecoin in terms of Bitcoin you can see that breaking out into new highs again you've got Litecoin in terms of US dollar and that one's taking a while to update I'm sure that their site is under a tremendous load um, there again going into new highs the uh,
price of Litecoin in Russian rubles is very close to a new high and the price of Litecoin in euros is approaching a new high. Namecoin uh, in terms of Bitcoin is very very strong but Namecoin in terms of US dollars Namecoin actually has had nearly a tenfold move over the last 10 days so this is really bogging down you're gonna have to bear with me on this let's try to pull up Nova coin so it looks like the BTC E exchange is bogging down so much that we can't really get uh, reads on it right now and I want to take you over to the articles I've got pinned right now I'm covering the two cheapest cryptocurrencies that I can find out there right now that's going to be Frycoin or Freycoin and Feathercoin now the fry coin that's the FRC is quoted in MBTC so that's why it point one there but that's actually uh, you got to add three zeros on the front of that and you can see here on the feather coin you got three zeros and uh, the digit there so those are my next favorites as far as money flowing into them it, it's kind of becoming a frenzy it's kind of becoming a uh, some people would say a bubble but I really don't think it's a bubble and this is why so the last time I covered it we were talking about 10 billion dollars was the total amount of money into all these cryptocurrencies we can see that since I did that the total market cap of these is going to come in uh, we've got 11 and a half so roughly 12 billion dollars now so it appears that the market cap of all cryptocurrencies has increased 20 percent in the last couple of days now that's only 12 billion dollars the last time I said that uh, it's my projection that this could increase 100 fold from here a hundred fold move in total market cap of all the cryptocurrencies and of course there are going to be other cryptocurrencies coming online. The last time I checked, there were 36. So there's still 36 on here. But I'm sure a lot of people are going to come up with their own. And uh, it's going to be the free market that's going to decide. So at the current market cap of all cryptos added together of $12 billion, a tenfold move in that amount is going to be $120 billion. That's still a pittance as far as the amount of fiat money printed by sovereigns that's sloshing around a trillion dollars is going to be about a hundred fold move in market cap from here and I'm gonna go ahead and make that as a projection that uh, the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies within probably the next year or two will go to a trillion dollars we're talking a hundred fold move in that market cap so back to the Bitcoin we're watching this very closely uh, we're looking for the penetration of that four digit figure that's going to be closely watched by a lot of people because uh, that's going to start making headline news and uh, that's going to cause a lot of people rushing in and you have to remember that when the Senate covered that and when uh, it hit the news cycle you have the exchanges like Mt. Gox and the other exchanges when you have your anti-money laundering laws and your know your customer limitations and all of the restrictions of getting your sovereign currencies uh, transferred into cryptocurrencies it's a long delay so some have estimated that delay is about five days I'm not really sure what that is we'll just call it a week so roughly a week after the hearings and uh, the latest scrutinization of the cryptocurrencies we've seen more than a 20 percent increase in the market cap it appears that money is 
rushing in to the cryptocurrencies and I don't think this is going to be the end of this move at all actually I think we're just at the beginning and we'll talk to you next time